Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. I'm back with another deck review and today I found this delicious deck. Oh my gosh, I had never seen this before. I was in Lexington and I was at the Barnes & Noble and I had not seen this deck. The Steampunk Art Nouveau Tarot published by Los Scarabeo. Now, I have the Llewellyn um, Steampunk Tarot which is fine but this this is on a whole nother level. So it comes in just your regular flip top box. And um, this is what the side looks like. 78 cards with instructions, the steampunk Art Nouveau Tarot. This is what the other side, a deck by Luca Strati. Um, this is the other side. And then of course on the bottom we have the publisher information. It's by Los Scarabeo in Torino, made in Italy. Um, the price is $26.95. And um, to me, this is well worth it. So let's look at the cards. Well, let's look at the guidebook first. So um, the guidebook first is um, the usual Little White book, LWB. Little White um, Steampunk Art Nouveau Tarot. Um, it, the Los Scarabeo. And I did that little, I mooshed it when I first took it out of the deck. Um, it comes in English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, so, usually, I thought it was five languages. I guess it's only four. So, it has just a little description of each of the cards um, for the major arcana and also the minor arcana. So, I'm not seeing where it says any kind of reverse. Oh, yes. Reverse meaning. Okay. So, that each card has a, an upright and a reverse meaning. And... We go again through this with an upright and reverse meaning for all the suits. Okay, so that's just your standard little white book. Um, the deck comes with the Los Scarabeo advertising card. And here is the title card. Steampunk Art Nouveau Tarot. So let's look at the back. Because this is what the back looks like. And... It's reversible. Um, it's not exactly the same on both sides. So, but it is. I mean, it's reversible. It's just like you'll be able to tell if it's reversed. Um, um, it's thin. It's thin cardstock, but it's nice quality, and um, it is glossy. I that these are the kind I like. I like thin, and I like glossy. So let's take a look. We'll see how it. Um, shuffles and then we'll do a short card or one card reading so that you can see how the book's written um yeah all right so here we have the fool now there's the number at the top but um the name of the card is not written on it so that's one thing that is different but i love the fact that you know the artwork is big um it fills the whole page, or the whole card. So I like this mechanical dog. That's pretty cool. We have the magician. The high priestess. The empress. The emperor. Love the colors. And the hierophant. And of course, this is based on Rider Waite. Smith imagery, the lovers, the chariot, strength. Look at that mechanical lion. That is so cool. Um, the hermit, the wheel of fortune, and oh, I thought that was similar to what's on the back of the card. It is a little bit. Um, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, The sun and um, judgment and 
the world. Then we have the suit of wands. There's the ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands, four of wands, five of wands, six of wands, seven of wands, eight of wands, nine of wands, ten of wands, page of wands. And again, they don't have the title on it. There's just a symbol up here for page, knight of wands, oops, queen of wands, and king of wands. And then we have the suit of cups. We have the ace of cups, two of cups, and I give the symbol is at the bottom of whatever suit it is. Three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups, page of cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. And then we have, um, I love the mechanical elements of the animals and um, the just really human element of the people. That's just very human to me. Um, um, and they contrast really nicely with all the mechanical things. Uh, okay, so Ace of Swords. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. I really feel like I'll use this deck a lot. Um, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. And then we have um, Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles, page of Pentacles, knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle them. The colors are very, very rich in these. I absolutely love them. Let's try that again. They slide well, they don't stick together, and it looks like that's our card right there. That is the Eight of Wands. All right, so let me set it up a little so we can see if I can get it up a little bit higher so you can see it while I read from, beautiful, from the book. So that is uh, the Eight of Wands. So what do we need to know from the Eight of Wands? Okay, Eight of Wands says, 
Trolling for exotic finds in various steam-powered ramblers is a pastime for many wastelanders. The captain of this rambler launches eight wands toward an unknown foe. And the meanings are, harness your power, take action, change is coming. Okay, and then if it was reversed, it would be unblock yourself, slow down, and think with your heart. But for us, it is harness your power, take action. Change is coming. And generally, the Eight of Wands is all about fast change, okay, or uh, a fast coming message. Something's coming. Maybe it's coming fast. All right. So that, friends, is my review of the Steampunk Art Nouveau Tarot published by Low Scarabeo. And I think it's gorgeous. The only thing that could make it better would be um, gilded edges. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That would make it lovelier. Okay, but it's beautiful. There it is. So if you liked this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, consider, please consider subscribing to my channel it's completely free and if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded so you won't miss anything um i've got lots of i've got a series on tarot 101 for beginner for beginners there's a, a 10 part series it's a totally free um uh like class and or 10 totally free classes and um Lots of deck reviews and other things that I think you might be interested in. So, um, I thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.